The salty tang of the sea hung heavy in the air, a stark contrast to the dusty loneliness of Toby's life on the ranch. Twelve years old and with a mop of unruly brown hair that mirrored his wild spirit, Toby felt more at home exploring the windswept cliffs than helping his gruff Uncle Jeb with the cattle. One stormy afternoon, Toby stumbled upon a hidden cove. Huddled beneath a rocky overhang was a magnificent sight. A wild stallion, its coat the color of a storm cloud, its mane a tangled mess. Fear tangled with fascination in Toby's chest. The horse was magnificent, yet something about its limping gait and wary eyes tugged at his heart. Over the next few weeks, Toby returned every chance he got. Leaving apples and carrots at a safe distance, he watched the horse, whom he named Storm, slowly overcome his fear. Storm, in turn, seemed to sense Toby's gentle nature. The wildness never quite left him, but a flicker of trust began to shine in his dark eyes. One day, Toby found Storm lying down, his leg twisted at an unnatural angle, panic clawed at Toby's throat. He knew he had to get help, but his worries about Uncle Jeb's reaction warred with the urgency of Storm's need. With a deep breath, Toby ran back to the ranch, the pounding of his heart echoing the approaching storm. Uncle Jeb's weathered face creased with surprise when Toby burst in, breathless. A wild horse, injured? You're plumb crazy, boy. But when Toby led him to the cove, a flicker of something softer flickered in his uncle's eyes. Together, they managed to splint Storm's leg. The days that followed were a blur of sleepless nights and shared worry. Uncle Jeb, a man of few words, surprised Toby with his gentle touch when treating Storm. Slowly, with Toby's unwavering faith and Uncle Jeb's experience, Storm began to heal. As Storm grew stronger, a bond deeper than words blossomed between him and Toby. They explored hidden valleys together, the wind whipping at Toby's hair as he clung to Storm's mane. He learned to speak Storm's language, not of words, but of gentle nudges and soft whinnies. Storm never fully lost his wild spirit, but a fierce protectiveness of Toby replaced his initial fear. Toby, in turn, found his own strength mirrored in the stallion's fierce loyalty. One clear morning, Toby found a new saddle on the porch, a gift from Uncle Jeb. 